Welcome back. Today is February 10th, 2017. It is Friday and today I'm going to show you a tip in Google Forms that can save you a bunch of time. So let's get started. So oftentimes uh, you might create a form uh, and let's, uh, let's do one uh, from scratch here in Drive. So we'll go new and we'll say uh, more and we'll create a new form. So we have the uh, form up there and uh, let's just uh, call this test form, if I could type. Uh, and the first question you might ask is, what's your name? Um, so that's fine there. Let's add a new question. And let's say another question you might ask often is, what's your district? And you don't want them to necessarily type it in. You want it to be a uh, multiple choice question, but you don't want to have to go through all 13 districts every time you send out uh, or create a new form. So I'm going to show you a quick way that you can populate these choices from a existing list of data. Uh, so let's get started. Um, the first thing you need to do um, is let's go back to Drive. And you'll see I previously created a document called Form Choices. If we open that up here, you see I have two columns right now. Uh, we're just going to concentrate on the uh, first column here, but you can have as many as you want for all of the different uh, choices that you want to create. But let's just focus on district. So um, I just have a uh, column header here called district and, and all of the districts underneath there. Um, we can easily add more at any time and uh, it'll automatically be brought into the form. But that's it. There's nothing special about this spreadsheet. Uh, just the data, uh, the data is here in the sheet uh, for the answer choices that I want to use in the form. Let's go back to the form. Uh, so I already typed in district and I have multiple choice. If we click on the puzzle piece up here, add-ons, I will see form ranger. If form ranger isn't there, I'll put a link to it in the show notes uh, for you to add it to your uh, Google Forms. And let's go ahead and click on that and then we'll click on start. And let me move my picture out of the way so we can see what we're doing over here. All right, um, so you can see uh, it says district. And what do we want to do? We want to populate form values or from a value list. Uh, so we'll go ahead and click on that. And we'll say a new value list. So that'll uh, bring up a, a list of sheets we could pick from. Uh, I know that my uh, values are in the sheet called Form Choices, so I'll go ahead and select that and click on the Select button. Um, by default, it selects Sheet 1 within my sheet. That's where my uh, data is located, so that's all right. And the uh, column that contains my Form Choices, in this case, is District. Uh, that's where all of my districts are located. I'll go ahead and click on Next. It says give this uh, value a list name, uh, we'll call it districts, and we'll save and populate. That's it. Um, so now you can see here that it automatically populated uh, all those multiple choices there. Um, so whether that was uh, multiple choice or uh, whether it was a drop down, um, all of those uh, choices are there automatically. Um, that's uh, that's it. You can do some other things, um, like you can uh, update it, uh, update the list on every form submit if you wanted to. Uh, you can update the list every hour if you wanted to. Um, but uh, just very basic. Uh, it's a quick, easy way for you to get form choices that you use over and over again uh, in the same in in a form without having to typing type them each time you create a new form. I hope, uh, again, you found this uh, tip valuable. If there's other things that you'd like to see, uh, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, I uh, did meet with uh, someone today about using um, mail merge and creating custom letters, so that'll probably be in an upcoming session. Uh, but again, if anyone ever has any questions, uh, don't, uh, don't hesitate to email me or put some notes in the comments, um, and I'll uh, do whatever I can to help you guys out. Have a great day, uh, or have a great weekend. Uh, again, it is Friday. See you next time. Bye.